Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at the radio in this box, but before we get to it, let me tell you a little bit about this radio. This is the ubiquitous Baofeng UV5R. For the last 10 years or so, this has been the go-to radio that all new hams buy. Yeah, you, know, you can get it for like less than $30. And it is a uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, so, you know, 144 megahertz and uh, 400 and, what, 30 megahertz a band. Your standard HT, you know, handy talky little thing. Um, Frequency mode. You can see it just has a little dot LCD display and whatever. But this has been the go-to. Everybody gets one. They're a rite of passage. Well, I think they've been upstaged. I really think they have. This is the TID Radio H3. Oops. Uh, they sent this out, you know, free of charge for our consideration, so I'd like to thank TID Radio for that. And I'm just going to screw on the antenna here. So, up against you know, the UV5R, you can see they are relatively the same size radios, same output, and uh, cover the same bands, although this also has a uh, FM radio and will also do AM airband radio, receive only. But this is a really nice update for 2023 as opposed to getting a 10-year-old radio for something that is, you know, just about in the same price range. So let's go over real quick what's in the box. Obviously, you saw the radio, the antenna. There is also the battery here. And there, for those of you who are concerned about such things, is the FCC ID on this radio, Barry. You get a little charging dock with a USB-C connector. You get a adapter here. This is, what, 2 amps? Yeah, just a standard... You get a USB-A to a USB-C cable, a belt clip, a lanyard, a manual, an actual paper printed manual, and this card that gives you some other information. So one of the first things that you're going to notice when we look at these guys, and if you look at the screens... You know, you can see you have a huge update here on the TID screen, the H3. This is one mode where it's just showing me one frequency at a time, but it can be put to show two frequencies at a time. And with two push-to-talk buttons, you can monitor and transmit on either frequency at the same time. But what also makes this nice, you have a little power meter here, sort of like an S meter. Um, you have your power high and low narrow and wide. This is the uh, ID for the, the particular uh, repeater this is set to go for. There's its frequency and you can see we're in memory mode. That's channel 2, channel 1, 2, two three, 3, 4. I have programmed in. I'm not sure how many memories there are. Quite a few. There you go. And I don't know how well you can hear that, but... 198, 197. So you can see that, you know, it talks. One, one. The, the other one does that as well. Now, we can press the uh, menu button here. Menu. And you can see our menu items right here. Bandwidth wide. I'm not going to go through all of these things here. Yeah, it has a scrambler. Um, a licensed ham in the United States cannot use a scrambler. 
that would be illegal. Also, yeah, it has mic gain, which is a really nice feature. Here it is. It's this one. Sync on off. Let's go wait for the menu to clear here. I'll tell you, I'll just turn it off, turn it back on. Welcome. So now you see we have the, the dual display here. We have channel down here, channel up here. Then you have your AB button here where we can switch in between them. But what really makes this radio cool, and the reason I agreed to do a video on it, is what you see right there. You want know, to focus? There we go. That is a Bluetooth symbol. So this radio has Bluetooth and can be programmed in Bluetooth, which is really, really nice. But that's not all. If you look here, there is a USB-C connector on the battery. And if I'm not mistaken, There's a USB-C connector in there that can also be used for programming. So, while it is 100% possible Menu. to program all of your frequencies in this way, oh, it's a pain in the butt. It's much better to do it on the computer. So, let me uh, show you how easy that is to do next. Okay, so this is the uh, web app called odmaster.net and uh, they also have a, a phone version of it but I'm going to use the web version so you can come over here on this little menu scroll down until you find your radio click on it we can connect up here where it says connect the Bluetooth device pair it Now we're connected, okay? So now we can bring up our frequency plan. There we have it. And it's so simple to program now. You can put in your RX frequency, your TX frequency, um, whether you need CTSS, transmit power, bandwidth, busy lock, scan, PTT ID, you can name it and you can turn the scrambler on and off again. Please don't do that within the United States. And you can read and write via Bluetooth. So first step you want to do when programming this is to read. So we say open for radio. And if you look down here at the radio, you can see it says Bluetooth programming. This takes a few seconds. And then we have all our settings, which we can make or change in any way we want. And when we're done, we simply come down here and click right. Writing there. Programming there. It's a really nice feature because other radios generally need a specific programming cable with a uh, like an FTDI, you know, a TTL to USB adapter or anything like that. So we are now completely reprogrammed here. And it was completely painless and simple to do. So just for a quick little comparison, this is Amazon. This is the radio, the TID. TDH3 ham uh, selling for $39. And then there is the uh, standard UV5R from Baofeng for $29. So this one is a, a few dollars more, but it is a much more advanced radio. Now, I just got it, so I haven't had a chance to uh, check out its spectral purity yet. But we will have a look at that in the future.
so so far I like this radio I'm not much of a VHF person I'm more of an HF person hang on here we go Oops. but this is a nice little radio um, I can't do much in here inside the house with this little ducky antenna Let's see if I can even hit the uh, hit the repeater here WW8PR testing yeah I'm hitting it but it's not reaching it so anyway the sound on this is just fine everything is uh, pretty good for ten for ten dollars more than a UV5R you end up getting yourself a more modern more robust little radio that uh, hopefully has better spectral purity and is easier to program yeah just uh, time marching on and whatnot all right guys that is all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this little video if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to TID Radio for sending this out that's it I'm out peace <laughs>